Hey, so imagine you've just been to the movies and your friends asked you, how was the movie? You might say it was good, it was bad, it was okay. But I'm going to give you some other words that you can use. For example, if the movie was really bad or it was terrible, you might say it was awful. Worst movie I've ever seen. Now, another thing might happen is that you read a book by a famous author, but it doesn't really live up to the expectations that you had. And somebody might say, hey man, how was that, how was that book? And you might say, eh, it was nothing to write home about. You could also use it for a TV series. If somebody's giving a recommendation from Netflix or one of these things, you might say, yeah, it was nothing to write home about. We can also use the expression so-so. So-so, as you can probably imagine, means it's neither good nor it's bad. Now, we all know how spectacular Montserrat is, and you might recommend it to go visit. You say, man, Montserrat is really worth a visit. Now, to say something is worth something, you could use it with a noun. You could say, it's worth a read. Or you can use it with a gerund. It's worth watching. All right? And now we have two ones to finish. One comes from the UK. It's more British English, and it's the word wicked, which means absolutely great. You might say, man, I watched the football match last night. It was wicked. And then if you went across the pond to America, they might use the word awesome, which means the same as wicked or absolutely great. And they say, man, I watched the soccer game last night. It was awesome. So whether it's awesome or wicked, you decide.